an island with a grisly past. Purchased by the Mitsubishi Corporation in 1890, Japan used Chinese and Korean slave laborers on Gunkanjima until the end of World War II in 1945. Post-war, it became the most densely populated place in the world by 1960, its undersea coal mines helping power the nation. Minoru Kinoshita spent his childhood on the island. We often played cat and mouse in all the buildings, but sometimes we could not find anyone as it was all so big. For me, this building was like a playground where I could have fun for hours on end. At up to a thousand meters below sea level, the mines off the south coast of Japan ran round the clock, worked by hundreds of men in grueling conditions. Among them was Japanese pensioner Tomoji Kobata. The humidity was the hardest. It was more than 95%. The air was thick with humidity. It was sticky, and the coal dust mixed with our sweat. So we were black from head to toe. The site was finally abandoned in 1974. Just over 40 years later, Gunkanjima, which is also featured in the Bond film Skyfall, was classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a controversial move due to its past. We believe that this is an affront to human justice, and it whitewashes Japan's crime of having captured Chinese and Korean forced laborers. Mitsubishi has awarded compensation to a handful of former workers with other settlements underway. The island is now a tourist destination where visitors can reflect on its checkered history.